Actually, you had mentioned this earlier. Your your friend Eddie Gallagher. Mm -hmm. That whole case. That was another one you litigated on your podcast. But we're trying to wreck you a spot, and I look over, and they had uh, kids' heads, little kids' heads on the spikes. There was <clears throat> dead bodies all over the place. We had our turp blown in half. Uh, I got pulled into the mass chief of trade at, um, and said, hey, you're under investigation. So when you saw that case, because you didn't work with him in the Navy SEALs, right? No. What was your first thought? Did you think the media was doing that? Or did you think he actually did it? I thought he did it. Really? Yeah. I thought he did it. Even when there were people that I respected that say he didn't, there were people that I respected more who were still in who were saying that he did do it. And because those guys were in, I, f I thought, well, they have more information than I do. You know, I'm... And I really value uh, the information that I get from some of the guys that I still know inside of there. But when they told me that, I was like, definitely. If if they're saying that, he's guilty. And can you tell people what he was accused of specifically? Oh, he was accused of a couple of things. He was accused of the main, the main thing was he was – the one thing that I didn't get, and this was the, the main thing, was he was accused of p killing an ISIS fighter – in war it's supposed to be a good thing right <laughs> but once again you got half the country jumping on this train the, i mean let's think about what isis was doing to us and in all these other terrorist organizations they're cutting our dicks off after we're dead stuffing them in our mouth they're raping little kids they put little kids in cages and burn them alive they chop off news reporters heads on national on international television they put people in cages and slowly drown them in the river you know so why anybody in this country would be fucking outraged that a navy steel killed an isis fighter is beyond me it is it's beyond me. i, I just can't think of any circumstance <laughs> that somebody wouldn't be happy that one of those people were eliminated off the earth. So we'll get through that. But that was the main that was the main thing, right? He killed an ISIS fighter. You like stabbed him to death or something? Stabbed him to death. But you thought he was now again, you thought he was guilty talking to the guys whose opinions you value. So even though it was an ISIS fighter, you thought there was something bad there were, to it? No, I didn't. I that always confused me. But then if you go back in the media, then when that didn't stick, then it was always oh, killing women, always oh, killing children. He's killing He's killing all these people, and it's all... It was like, well, this didn't stick, so let's add this. Let's add this. Let's add this. And anyway, so because I was... I had valued the opinions and in, in the information that I was getting from uh, former teammates of mine who were still in, I mean, I figure they've got to know. I mean, what the hell do I know? I've been out for over 10 years at this point. <clears throat> Close to, anyways. Then when I got him on the show, much like the Blackwater episode, it I I realized I was like this guy got steamrolled too, you know? And even after the actually I don't want to say that cuz I'm not 100% I c I don't remember the exact timeline of the case, but I do it, it, he may have been uh it may have been thrown out after this, but even a marine came out and said I'm the one that killed him. Oh, they killed the fighter. Yes. I'm the one that killed the fighter, which I believe that's what got it thrown out. Mm. But the Navy was still on him. They were trying to, they tried to pull his trident, which is their, yeah. it's the seal insignia that you wear as a Navy SEAL. They tried to take his retirement. And that's where Trump kept having to, to step in and say, give the fucking guy his retirement back. Give the fucking guy his rank back. Give him his trident back. You're not going to do this. We already went through this. It's been through court, you know, and they had witnesses lying on the stand. They, you know, and so when he came in for the interview, it, like I said, it was much, it was very similar to the Blackwater episode where I, I became, I just, I'm going to be honest, I was disgusted 
that I was ever an, a SEAL for weeks after that. I couldn't believe that I had spent time within a community that fucking burns their own people like that that will that that for killing an ISIS fighter. I mean, it was. Do you when think I was they just in, bought what they were sold, kind of like you that, did. Though? That is what that is what happened. They had upper head shed throughout the SEAL teams running around telling telling the knuckle draggers like me, hey, we have video of them doing this. It's all going to come out in court. But they didn't. They didn't have any fucking video of it. Nothing came That's out weird. in court. It was all lies, all of it. That's the, see that that's that's where you lose me when you start like making claims about stuff you know is not true. Like, oh, we got video. No, you don't. Yeah. And my understanding is that he was a particularly hardo, known as like a hardo within the community, but also within like the training realm. So some of the guys didn't like him because of that, and so perhaps that's maybe why some of the people who were quote unquote witnesses were pressing that. Oh yeah, he probably did that for sure. Look, just like you have lazy pieces of shit in corporate America, you got lazy pieces of shit in the SEAL teams too. Thank you for watching the video guys. Please hit that subscribe button and check out this clip's full podcast episode by clicking here or in the description below.